So it's time for some fresh Starfield news. Let's look into this. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I would like to talk about Starfield. Now, we all know that this game is coming out in September, so I guess it may be soon for some, while not so soon for others. Either way, it's not really long of a wait anymore, and we are going to get some new gameplay, fresh gameplay, next month, so I can't really wait for that um, Starfield Direct show. Either way, that's not what I really want to talk about today. Today I want to talk about this particular news, which is doing the rounds on internet right now, and it's... Uh, it talks about some of the game mechanics. Now, I'm sure you remember that when the first Starfield gameplay was shown, which I'm actually looking at right now, uh, there was a little bit of a criticism uh, towards this game when it comes to gameplay mechanics, right? I mean, so people were complaining that, you know, that just shooting and the combat, generally speaking, just didn't really look that good, right? Um, and it's not it's not about graphics, it was more about um, the feel of the gameplay and that kind of stuff and gunplay and whatever, right? Now, there's actually an interesting news doing the rounds, like I said. So this is the, actually, that rumor. Now, this is a rumor, so take it with a grain of salt, but uh, there's actually high probability that it actually is what is happening, and I'll talk about it in a minute. So, so the rumor says, its software has been working with Bethesda to overhaul the combat in Starfield. They joined the project back, back in August of last year. I have extremely close ties to an individual at its software who reported this to me. The combat is a vastly better state is in va vastly better state than it was during the Xbox showcase last year. So now, like I said, this is still a rumor, and you know, like it's really difficult to talk about, uh, you know, any credibility of the uh, poster because it's actually one of those um, news sites and stuff, right? Either way. This is very probable, right? Because this is not the first time its software would actually help Bethesda to work on their game. Uh, pretty much similar situation happened with Fallout 4, if I'm not mistaken. And I'm pretty sure I've heard some other cases uh, where its software would help other Bethesda studios on the gunplay and that kind of stuff, right? So. The fact that its software has been involved with Starfield is a good news because that means that, well, the combat is just going to feel so much better. I mean, you know, Doom, Doom Eternal doesn't really need any introduction when it comes to gunplay and that kind of stuff, right? Now, obviously, I'm not saying that um, Starfield will feel like Doom because that's a totally different type of game, but, you know, it's not going to be as fast-paced and stuff, but uh, let's hope that gunplay and guns will just feel good when you go when we will be uh, playing the game and we'll in in combat right so that's one part of the news another part of the news is that um we all know that this game start is very important and um i kind of spoke about it uh, before but it's actually worth noting that uh, starfield uh, has been uh, i guess uh, Xbox main focus when it comes to these uh, big third pa first party titles and um, I'm sure you've heard about the fact that ATG so advanced technical group I think they called uh, at Xbox has been helping um, Bethesda to optimize this game for Xbox consoles so um, now there's been quite a lot of uh, I guess talks and rumors about whether or not Starfield will be a 60 frames per second uh, game on uh, consoles or not. And we still don't know. Uh, there's still speculation. I mean, Phil Spencer was actually asked about whether or not we will actually find out about any performance mode on consoles in this game uh, before the launch. And Phil Spencer said that we will. But I did report a couple of weeks ago um, 
on the fact that during one of, one of the dev blogs, uh, Bethesda did show this game running on Xbox Series X dev kits at 60 frames per second, right? So also they were showing a 60 frames per second uh, gameplay uh, in the past, right? So now obviously there's a chance that that might have been on PC, right? So, you know, it is possible, but, um, you know, at the end of the day, uh, the fact that Xbox got involved and Phil Spencer did say that, you know, they were way more involved with Bethesda and this game than uh, Redfield, uh, Redfall, sorry. Uh, well, let's hope that should bode much better for state of this game and performance of this game, because we all know that the original showing uh, last year, the gameplay showing was in 30 frames per second, and that wasn't even stable. So we will see. I mean, you know, at the end of the day, this is going to be an Xbox Series console exclusive. It's not coming to a uh, previous generation of Xbox consoles. It's going to be an X Xbox, Series, uh, Xbox Series and PC uh, game. So let's just hope that Microsoft and ATG Group, and by the way, for those of you that don't know what ATG is about, basically it's a group of people, engineers, uh, that have been always involved with creating Xbox and optimizing and that kind of stuff. So this is just like, let's call them Xbox Super Ninjas, technical ninjas that uh, help first party and third party developers uh, to optimize games for Xbox, right? So, um, you know, let's hope that this will translate to a better running game and better optimized game. Uh, because um, now also I just wanted to mention that um, I may actually do a separate video on that um, I guess Plague Tale Requiem I know it's a totally different game it's a totally totally different uh, publisher and developer but this game kind of after all last weeks few weeks months really of a lot of games being 30 frames per second on these consoles and stuff Plague Tale was 30 frames per second on Series X2. But the thing is, like, it looks like if developers are giving more time to optimize for Xbox Series X, it's possible to run these m very demanding games at 60 frames per second. So let's go back to Plague Tale, which you can check the uh, video about it uh, on my channel. I actually, you know, sh sh I'm showing the gameplay and stuff. So this game was very demanding when it first launched. You know, clearly there was some optimization, you know, lacking on, on, on consoles. And that was not only uh, for Xbox. PlayStation uh, actually struggled to run this game even at 40 frames per second. But because the game did offer two modes, 30 and 40 frames per second. And now it's smooth 60 and it's really smooth. Uh, apparently there's even unlocked frame rate mode on this console so that's actually even crazier to be honest with you so if that kind of game yes it took them a while because it took them like six or seven months to optimize properly but they did that they spent some time optimizing for these consoles and Plague Tale Requiem is a locked 60 frames per second game on Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5 so going back to Starfield, what I'm trying to say here is that if you give developers time and hopefully now with first party, you know, Bethesda being first party and ATG being involved, you know, let's just hope that Starfield will actually be very well optimized and, you know, hopefully it will run at 60 frames per second on the consoles as well. Yes, it will be given that it's a given that it will be at lower resolution, but hey, I would say that performance over resolution, that's my jam. So anyway, so these are all Starfield news I've got for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm sure there's going to be way more and I'm really looking forward to this game. I'm really looking forward to June uh, showcase too, because we will actually learn way more about Starfield and um, you know, new gameplay. <clears throat> uh, I'm sure they will talk about gameplay mechanics, story, and that kind of stuff. Um, Starfield, 
show will take place you know shortly i mean immediately after the xbox game xbox game showcase and it will be a 30 minutes show too so anyway that's the video i hope you enjoyed it let me know in the comment section below what you think about it L hit the like button subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and i will see you all in the next one take care